If Dr. Schenker is indeed being held in this secret underground research facility in North America, it's a safe bet he won't be there for long once Harm figures out what you're up to. The first step is to identify and detain the American Railways conspirator so that we can interrogate him. You will then need to locate the hidden entrance to the facility, find Dr. Schenker, and get him out alive. Without him, we're doomed. Have you seen anything suspicious? Like what? There's a spy aboard this train. Are you sure? I am. How do you know? I have my sources. That doesn't really answer my question. Let's just say I heard it from a little birdie that someone's been poking around, nosing for information about our obliging engineer friend. Oh. We don't want that information falling into the wrong hands, do we? Well, I haven't seen any spies. If you do, let me know. We don't tolerate spies. I'll keep an eye out. See that you do, moron. Did you say something? What? I could have sworn I just heard you call me a Mormon. Why would I call you a Mormon? I have no idea. Do you have something against Mormon? No. Then why are we having this conversation? I don't know. See you later then. Count on it. I hope you're happy. Why? Because I'm not. What's wrong? If we had taken a plane... Please. Please. Hello? Tickets, please. I love. 
love riding the train. nervous if you were lying in a hole in the ground six feet under. Don't threaten me. Or what? I'll tell Roscoe. Go ahead. Just you, or is it hot in here? Either way, I think you need a cold shower. Kind of halfwit comes up with these code phrases anyway. I know what you mean. What do you have for me? Looks like the assistant engineer has been acting alone. The crew compartments are all the way at the front of the train. You should be able to find him there, since his shift doesn't start for another half hour. Perfect. My mother in Portland. I can't think of a better way to travel, can you? That should keep you out of trouble for a spell.
Is that a caboose? Yup. What do you think it's doing out here? Not sure. Should we report it? Probably. Maybe we should check it out first. Okay. Delaney, you got a phone call. Who is it? Sounds like your girlfriend. Uh, tell her I'm out on patrol. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I got better things to do than talk to her. Like what? Like stand here looking at my shoes. I'll see her this weekend and there won't be any need for her. And what a romantic. Where is the girl? <sighs> I don't know. Then what use are you?
So, didn't you used to work for Evil Alliance? Yeah.
Stay alert. There's been some trouble upstairs. What kind of trouble? Spy trouble. How do you know? That's just what they told me. I'd like to see a spy try to get in here. Well, make sure you're ready just in case one does. It is not. It is too.
Anybody there? Still uh, looking for a carpenter? fish stuff? Hell no. And that's what I figured too, but my uh, girlfriend talked me into trying it the other night. Uh... Himmel, you're alive? More or less. But I saw you fall out of the plane without a parachute. Oh, that. Well, someone loaned me one on the way down. Very generous of him. Anyway, I thought I'd drop by and see if you'd like to get out of here. I would indeed. If I had known I'd end up in a place like this, I never would have left Berlin. But I suppose that was part of the plan. What do you mean? It seems we have been carefully manipulated by harm all along. My decision to defect and your organization's decision to aid me were part of an intricate scheme. I have overheard my captors discussing the matter. Harm wanted my research, but they didn't want to draw attention to themselves in order to get it. So they let us do the dirty work? Precisely. I was approached by one of their agents, who filled my head with tantalizing stories of the West and the freedom I would find there should I defect. He took care of the arrangements, knowing full well that I would end up here. Ingenious. Their only mistake was to underestimate us.
Although the rescue of Dr. Schenker was absolutely imperative if Unity were to have even the merest hope of victory, it comes at a grievous cost. There is much still to accomplish, but very little time in which to do so. This morning, at exactly 9.02 a.m., there was an explosion of unknown origin in the town of Schilling, England. That's where the Baroness grew up. Well, case closed. Arrest her immediately. Scoff all you please. The source of this blast was a banker by the name of Lester Cheems. Casualties are estimated at over 1,300 innocent people. Their blood is on the hands of the agency responsible for kidnapping Dr. Otto Schenker from us. Until he is returned to the facility from which he was abducted, we shall continue to mete out similar punishments every 48 hours. That is all. Those figures are correct, by the way. 1,300 people. I suppose we can assume harm is capable of delivering on its threats. Indeed, which means we have exactly two days to complete our objectives. Can we have records and research find out if this Lester Cheems ever knew Felicity Farnsworth? I suppose, although I can't see that it will prove anything. You never know. Well, I for one am reticent to implicate a respected public figure on the basis of mere coincidence. You call it coincidence. I call it circumstantial evidence. Knowing the victim of a crime hardly qualifies as circumstantial evidence. That depends on the victim, the crime, and the circumstances, doesn't it? Enough of this bickering. Send in Dr. Schenker, if you please. Ah, here you are. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. I hope your accommodations are adequate. Exceptional, thank you. Hello again, Miss Archer. Hello, Doctor. I'm sorry there wasn't time to brief you sooner but I imagine you've already heard about this morning's disaster. I have. Then I'm sure you can understand the need for alacrity in devising a plan of action. Harm has promised another attack within the next 48 hours unless we hand you over, which imposes a rather daunting deadline. How can I help? We need to know who Harm has infected with the reagent, and we need the antidote. Unfortunately, I cannot help you with the first problem. I was never told how the reagent was being used or on whom. I'm afraid it would not make much difference, even if I had. I'm terrible with names, you see. What about the antidote? Ah, yes, that is also a problem. You see, the antidote is highly unstable and can therefore only be produced in a zero-gravity environment. You mean outer space? Quite so. So in other words, Harm was lying about having the antidote. Not true. They do have it. So they stole it? They developed it. But how is that possible? Harm has its own space program. That's preposterous. Not necessarily. A few weeks ago, the U.S. branch reported an unscheduled rocket launch from a small tropical island off the coast of Mandaru. Are you sure it wasn't the Soviets? It's certainly possible, although we have plenty of spies in the Soviet Union and none could confirm a launch. This is starting to sound like circumstantial evidence, Mr. Smith. Agreed, but it's the only lead we have. If it is harm, I certainly can't explain where the funding and materials are coming from. Maybe the Soviets are involved. At the moment, all that matters is that we get our hands on that antidote. Very well. Archer, your job will be to locate and infiltrate the launch facility and recover a sufficient quantity of the antidote for our purposes. Assuming this is even the right place? Yes. Understood. We'll give you a radio frequency to use in case you need to contact us. Your code name will be Fox Hunt. Ours is Foxhound. Did Bruno tell you that story? Yes, he did. What story? When Archer was a girl, her father took her on a fox hunt. The fox got away. 
Fascinating, but I fail to see the relevance. In her other occupation, Archer was known as the Fox. As Bruno told it, you were so impressed with the Fox's escape from such a dire predicament, you adopted it as a personal symbol. Is that right? Something like that. That sort of resourcefulness would certainly serve us well right about now. What an amusing anecdote. Shall we take turns telling stories? Or shall we get back to the mission at hand? When do I leave? As soon as possible. Let's just hope I find myself in harm's way, if you take my meaning. If we're wrong about this, there will be hell to pay. Good luck, Archer. We're counting on you. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. It's likely that this island is heavily mined to discourage unwanted visitors. So we've equipped your sunglasses with a new scanner capable of detecting most proximity-triggered explosive devices. When you activate the mine detector function, these devices will become visible to you, enabling you to avoid them. Using the next function key, cycle to your sunglasses mine detector function and pick your way past these mines. They are live, so watch your step. Excellent. There is a small but nonetheless intriguing possibility that Harm is storing the antidote for the reagent at a secret launch facility on an island off the coast of Mandaru. Your first objective will be to establish whether or not such a facility even exists. If it does, you must infiltrate it and retrieve a container of the antidote. Just got word that the sub's delayed. Good. We still haven't finished clearing out the last shipment. Uh, what's the ETA? Probably around 9 p.m. Maybe later. <laughs> I could use some overtime pay. Don't count on it. Well then, don't count on anybody being here to unload the sub. <sighs> All right. See what I can do.
hear any excuses. We need to clear this freight out of here in the next 20 minutes. I'm telling you, that's not possible. Listen, the success of this operation hinges on secrecy. All it takes is one airliner pilot to look down and see all these bright orange crates sitting here, and we're finished. I understand that. We've only got one helicopter. We're doing the best we can. Figure out a way to do better. Get us more helicopters. Oh, sure. Let me just go make a couple out of soda cans and popsicle sticks. Sarcasm ain't gonna make this go any faster. Well, how about you airlift as much as you can and stick everything else back in the storage area over here? I guess it's a possibility, but we're gonna have to move it at some point. We've got another shipment of staff coming in for the station tomorrow afternoon. Wait till dark. Sure, if we can use floodlights. Uh-uh. They didn't talk to me about a massive move on airlift. Whose idea was it to paint these damn crates orange anyway? What genius thought that up? Uh, don't turn this into a union meeting. Whatever makes you happy. Fine. I guess I'll just have to file an official report explaining how you refuse to follow orders. Whatever makes you happy.
Not a dang thing. Good, then let's head back. This heat's killing me. Well, I don't mind the heat. It's the humidity that gets... This is it for me! Ah!
fire. We did a 90 second test last week. The results were inconclusive. Besides, we've adjusted the fuel oxidant ratio since then. You can't just change the schedule at the drop of a hat. We need results. If that means modifying the schedule, then that's what we're gonna do. This schedule is based on your estimates. Our budget is based on the schedule. If you deviate from the schedule, you'll put us over budget. That's not my problem. My job is to deliver a more efficient rocket engine. It is your problem because you signed off on the schedule. Maybe so, but if I stick to the schedule, I'm definitely gonna face the axe because there's no way I'm gonna be able to deliver what I promised. I'd rather take my chances. Suit yourself, but I report this situation to the director. Be my guest. I have to find a way to sabotage this test fire or I'm in big trouble. Test fire will commence in T-minus one minute. All personnel evacuate last bit immediately.
So what the hell's all the commotion about? Didn't you hear? There was an explosion over at the test area. I guess that prototype rocket engine they're working on came unmoored. Did anybody get hurt? I don't know the details, but I'd be amazed if nobody got fricasseed. Man. Requisition here for 20 gallons of antidote? Oh, sorry, we're out. What do you mean you're out? A shipment should be arriving on Monday. I can put you on a waiting list. Can't you get it sooner? I don't make the schedules. You don't have any? Nope. I told you. That stuff has a very limited shelf life. What am I supposed to tell my boss? Tell him to wait in line like everybody else. He doesn't like to wait in line. Is that supposed to scare me? I get threatened by guys like your boss all day long. What it basically boils down to is that they want a commodity that is only produced in one place. That place just happens to be outer space, which means the distribution channel is very narrow. We send a rocket up every other week and it brings back as much antidote as it can carry. When's the next rocket? This afternoon. Not coming back till Monday? Correct. Who can I talk to about that? Whoever you want, because it's not gonna do a damn bit of good. Fox Hunt calling Foxhound, over. Go ahead, Fox Hunt. There are no antidote samples on the island. Repeat, no antidote samples. Damn. However, I think I may know where I can find one. Where? Outer space. Uh, please repeat, over. Uh, I could have sworn you said outer space. Aye, that's what I said. There's a rocket going up in half an hour. I plan to be aboard. Negative. It's too risky. You forgot to add, for a woman. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm not about to let thousands of people die because I was afraid to risk my neck. <sighs> Very well. Proceed as planned. Just be sure to come back in one piece. Count on it.
Do you think we should proceed with the launch? Of course we should. After what just happened? It has no bearing on this launch. I hope you're right. <coughs> just relax. I wish I could. I'm all wound up. How about a nice massage? That would be divine. Perhaps later? Once aboard the Harm Space Station, you must ascertain where the antidote is stored. Your spacesuit should mask your identity to some degree, but don't expect guards to be fooled. If you see anyone carrying a weapon, either avoid him or dispatch him. When you've retrieved the antidote, you can start thinking about how to get back to Earth. First things first. Fiscal. Yes, sir? Hey, can you go check up on the crew of that rocket that just came in? They haven't disembarked yet, and they're not responding on the radio. Great. Probably another short circuit. That's what I'm thinking. I'd like to get my hands on the contractor that built this hunk of junk. Too late. We shot him out the airlock last month. What? How come I didn't know? It was a private ceremony. That's just plain selfish. Sorry. All right, I'll check out the rocket. Hmm, guess it isn't a short circuit. Hello? You guys okay in here? Thank God that rocket is finally here. I can't wait to get back to Earth. Really? I kind of like it up here. You're crazy. This place is a drag. Oh, come on. It's not bad once you get used to it. Well, maybe I just have it. I need another drink. I think I've had a little too much to drink, because you're starting to look good. Excuse me? I'm serious. Expect to get anywhere with that kind of filth? Come on, sweetheart, don't be uptight. 
tired. I'll take good care of you. So far, how about you? I've, uh, I've also counted six. Well, let's keep counting. Restricted area, you goon. Like a collision course on my chart. The human eye 
is no match for the raw computational power of the electronic super analyzer. I should know. I built it myself. Yes, I know you built it. You remind me several times a day. But, huh? Marvin, I think I know why the electronic super analyzer can't compute the probability of a meteor impact. And why is that? It's not plugged in. Meteor shower? Roger that. Headed right this way. We should probably let everyone know. You really want to start a panic? Remember, there's more than 70 people aboard this station, but only enough escape pods for 20. Good point. I'll meet you on Chartreuse. See you there. Hello. Oh, don't mind me. Hello? Just Hello? Going for a little stroll. Ah, oh, what a relaxing day. This is it for you.
Let's get the hell out of here! Wait for me! You have the antidote, but you still don't know to whom you should administer it. The next step will be the most uncertain so far. It will also be the most critical. The price of failure will be measured in innocent blood. You look tired. I'm all right, sir. We've asked a great deal of you on this assignment. Under normal circumstances, we'd have a team of agents collaborating on a situation like this. Well, I wanted a challenge. You certainly got the right attitude. Gentlemen, what have you learned? The antidote sample is viable. Excellent. Is there enough for our purposes? I should think so. Of course, it depends on how many people have been infected. We need that list of names. And we need it before harm sets another example. Where's the Baroness now? Uh, she and the Baron are on holiday at their chateau in the German Alps. Then that's where I'm going. Need I remind you that Harm's next victim will detonate less than 20 hours from now? That's assuming they don't retaliate for Agent Archer blowing up their space station. Relax, Smithy. It'll take them that long to figure out what happened. I wrecked their communications, remember? Besides, a meteor shower blew up that station, not me. Regardless, this hardly seems the time for wild goose chases. Well, what do you recommend? <sighs> Look, I know the Baroness is behind this mess, and I know she keeps that list of names close to her. She's not doing this just for the money. She wants to blow these people to bits. She wants revenge. That's an amusing theory, but you'll excuse me if I'm not entirely convinced. I don't care if you're convinced. I just want to know if you have a better idea. Not at the moment. Then let me do this. If you come up with something better, you can call me back. I won't argue. That seems unlikely. All I care about is getting that list of names before more innocent people die. I don't want to sit around here waiting for some blinding flash of insight, only to discover I was right all along and lives were lost because I didn't follow my instincts. If you receive a signal from us, I expect you to drop everything and get in touch immediately. Am I understood? You can count on it. I hope you have a plan. Sure I do. I'm going to get inside that chateau, find the list, and get out. I see. And how exactly do you intend to do that? I'll improvise. Brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? What about the fellow that's been keeping an eye on the Baroness for us? He's just a spy. Some poor chap willing to risk his neck for a pittance and a bit of adventure. Perfect. Have him meet me at my hotel when I arrive. Are we really going to go through with this? Yes, we are. God save us all. Since snowmobiles are a common method of transportation,
I'm bored out of my skull. It's so boring. I never have any fun.